Hi guys, today's video is actually going to be a little bit different, but I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. I want to show you all the things that I got at Dollar Tree. Plus, I'm actually going to dupe this video with, not dupe, but I'm going to add a gift basket idea from Dollar Tree as well. So I thought it would just be fun to kind of shake things up and show you guys these items a little bit differently, a little bit more vlog style. So I hope that you guys enjoy, but now I'm gonna turn the camera and we're gonna take a look at everything that I got. All right, so let's start off with this little Christmas section right here. I am just now starting to buy some tissue paper from Dollar Tree and I absolutely love their tissue paper. Still trying to figure out if it's kind of worth the dollar. I feel like these may be worth the dollar, but these specialty sheets where you only get 10, I'm not so sure, but they are really unique. I love the print styles on this one. I believe this is new. I don't remember seeing this last year. And there's silver. Dear, I don't, it kind of looks gold, but it's not. They're all silver and this part is gold. And then you get some red sheets in here. And then this one is really fun. It's just Santa, ho, ho, ho. And then it has like a little buckle detail. But I do want to point out that all of these sheets are not like the tree. I was kind of really disappointed because when I peered in here, there are actually a couple of different prints, if you can see that. So I'm not really sure how many of the actual tree print that you get in here. But I wanted to let you guys know, be careful when you're looking through the tissue paper and make sure that you're getting what you want. And finally, I found these gift boxes. You get three pieces in here. I'm curious what the middle design is that we can't see. Maybe it's just plain white. At least it just looks like plain white. And then you get two designs. I was looking for this car, Santa one. That's really cute. And again, I'm really into all this snow stuff lately at Dollar Tree. And I just made a like snow DIY on my channel. So I'll link it at the end for you. But for some reason, I've been really loving this whole like snowy feature. And then the back has the trees and they're like plaid trees, snowy trees. So I really like that. And I didn't realize I got duplicates, so yeah. So I got two of those. And then some uh, Christmas gift tags. They've always had this style with like the pop-up with the little jingle bell, which is really fun. But I feel like the print is definitely new. Santa on top of the chimney. Um, very vintage. This set is just very vintage to me, which I really love. There's that. And then here are these gift tags and the little car stuck out to me. And I think they had these out last year. I don't know, comment down below and let me know if you remember them having, like I feel like this one sticks out and this one sticks out in my memory. So I feel like they probably had these last year and I got two of them. And then the last tag that I found these, I love the little gingerbread man. I'm not really a fan of like penguins that much for Christmas or snowmen. I kind of prefer Santa little trucks and trees kind of thing and deer. All right, and here is the second set. Let's start over here with this brand new stationery with the floral shabby chic deer. I don't, I'm so surprised very pleasantly surprised. I absolutely love the colors, love the print. So this is a list pad. There is a magnet on the back. And then this is probably my favorite thing out of the whole collection because the pen is just so beautiful. I love it. It's very girly, very delicate. And then you get again, that same floral deer. And then here is a clipboard notebook, a little bit different. They threw in some flowers, probably the same exact flowers that you see inside the deer there and then you get the little clipboard back here and it has the same really beautiful print I'm obsessed and then look at these these are i guess are they note cards yeah i don't think they're thank you cards they're just note cards they're blank i believe and look how beautiful and then I found these new tin cans. I think they're just decorative tin cans. I haven't honestly even opened up to see what they look like on the inside. This one is so cute. You are my C. 
And then here is this little heart-shaped tin can and it has the cacti and they're hugging and they even have some blush on. I think that's really cute. For some reason when I look at this, I just see Too Faced, the makeup product brand or the makeup brand. Then here is another heart-shaped. Now that one is round, but this one has a flamingo in it, has the floral design. It's empty. There's nothing in there. So I think it's just a decorative tin can and those would be great for stocking stuffers. You could put like little earrings or little charms or whatever in those, maybe even like a couple dollars if you're into that. And then over here, what in the world? Marble gift boxes. These are very chic. I feel like it's sometimes difficult to find things at Dollar Tree that you can gift to someone a little bit older, a little bit more mature. They definitely have amazing things for kids and babies, but I mean, finding these gift boxes for like a teen per se, I'm not sure how I feel about the gold lid. I feel like silver definitely looks a lot better. I mean, look at this print. But they also came in different lids. Uh, they came in silver glitter and then gold glitter. But I thought the glitter looked really cheap, so I just got those. And next up is this new planner set. Holy crap. Comment down below, let me know if I got everything in the set. But let's just, I don't even know where to start. This says an undated planner, which is awesome because that means you can start your planner whenever you want. 60 sheets, but this is the planner. So we'll open that in a second so that you can look inside. Then here are the matching planner stickers. You guys, this is just very insane. Look at the first sheet is very puffy. I don't know if you can tell. And then you get, oh my goodness. And then these are large magnets is really cool don't really know how that kind of goes in with the planner theme because you can't attach a magnet to a planner unless you you glue it down which you can absolutely do that you don't have to use it as a magnet this is really cute it's probably one of my favorite things in this collection just because the the way they design this really just sticks out and it's really fun i love the polka dots and then all the bright fun colors but it's basically just a little notebook and then here is a journal you get 50 sheets in here just a standard journal. And then this is a, another list pad, but look how beautiful the top is. It has this like gold foil casing and then it has a magnet as well. And then it has two sections that you can tear off. Let's talk about your priorities. And here is the inside of the planner. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit, it's hard to kind of hold and show all this, but is so cute it's undated so you can start at whatever month that you want and then i went ahead and opened up these little sticker booklets but look at that for a dollar this is absolutely amazing just definitely reminds me of the stuff that you get at michael's or hobby lobby and here is our last set, which this is going to be my gift basket today, which is going to be a little baker's gift basket. So let's go ahead and zoom in over here. This is going to be the basket of my choice from Dollar Tree to put everything in. I have a lot of red. Red was my theme, so I wanted to break it up just a little bit and bring in this green. So I found this green bowl, which can also... Uh, be used as a mixing bowl for the person receiving the gift and then I got these little uh, pot holders little, um, little oven mitt and then the matching kitchen towel I just felt like this print was really beautiful there's a little bit of gold detail or not gold um glitter detail in here which is really nice the back is just plain red and then i thought it would be fun to add some parchment paper just for cooking because i do have like a little like cookies to give in here as well so i thought it just kind of like made natural sense uh chocolate chip and then they have sugar cookie they have this betty crocker brand at dollar tree which is kind of shocking and then i got some jet pushed mar jet puffed marshmallow cream this is a craft brand this is crazy that it's there for a dollar comment down below and let me know if you know the price of this uh like at a grocery store or walmart I'm wondering if a dollar is a great deal for that 
And then I also have some chocolate fudge, Pillsbury. That's not that much fudge, to be honest. It depends on what you're trying to cook. But I also got this traditional chocolate cake from Pillsbury as well. But one of these may not be enough. Again, it just depending on how much like, of this product you're going to use. And then I got this Sophie May peanut brittle. Not just, it's not really so much for baking. Of course they could use it for baking, but I thought it would also be fun to throw in some like snacks. And what is more perfect to add than these cookie cutters? Look at this. Again, it's just, it's Christmas time. So it has a really fun theme. There's gingerbread in here. There's a stocking cutter. There's a snowman cutter. There's a star cutter. And then again, because I'm, Doing like a cook it's not really a cooking theme it's more of a baking theme but this kind of goes with that and then in case someone wants to make cupcakes with this instead of a cake i put some cupcake liners and then i wanted to throw in some baking powder saw this at dollar tree and thought it would be great to throw this in here for obviously baking needs and then fireside mini marshmallows I cannot rave about these marshmallows enough. When I found them a couple years ago, I have been obsessed and hooked. These are the best marshmallows I've ever tasted in my life. I, If I don't have to, I won't use anything else. And they smell so good and they're so delicious. I don't know where else you can find them. Comment and let me know. Gluten-free, fat-free, no artificial colors. So I'm really impressed by this. It's not a Dollar Tree brand. And what would be a baking kit without some tools? So I have this little cutting board and then a spatula for the cookies. It is a Betty Crocker. And then I had to get this spatula here as well. And then I got some measuring cups. And then these are measuring spoons. All right, the first thing I wanna do is kind of establish the back and the support system of this basket, just because it is not that deep, as you can see. So I wanna make sure that I have some of my tallest items in the back. So I'm done putting the basket together and this is what it looks like. I love this. I don't, I've put so many baskets together from Dollar Tree, but I don't think I've ever done a baking theme. If I have, I don't remember it. And I love this. I didn't have enough room for the uh, marshmallows, but I already have this marshmallow cream and it just kind of didn't make sense to add the marshmallows, um, those kinds to here. I mean, it, it still could have been for baking, but I think this makes a lot of sense. And then you could always do like a hot cocoa gift basket. Comment, thumbs up if you want me to do that. I know I asked last time if you wanted me to do like a little chocolate theme basket. And I got some comments that yes, you do want to see that. So I'll probably end up doing a video, but I love how this turned out. I think this is so fun. And I think it's just a really great gift idea if you just, you know, white elephant or... You just know someone who just loves to bake. And that's it, you guys, from my Dollar Tree haul and my Dollar Tree gift basket. I'm so, like, I'm always just so incredibly surprised by every time I go to Dollar Tree, there's new stuff. That's so exciting. I feel like you don't really get that feeling that much with any other store, and maybe you do, but I just don't. I feel like every time I walk into Dollar Tree, I'm thinking, what are they gonna do next? So it's always very exciting. There's definitely a thrill aspect to this, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, more DIYs, more gift basket ideas, and if you wanna look at other gift baskets that I've done in the past, my Christmas playlist is down below, and it has all of my Christmas-related videos in them. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time.